Today in class, we looked at area, and we said area is a measure of the surface or region inside a closed boundary. It is the number of whole or partial unit squares that fit inside the boundary. So if we're looking at your homework, two of the strategies you can use to find area of a rectangle. It says divide the rectangle into unit squares, count the squares and partial squares. So you have three and a half units by two units. So I can zoom in, and if we count, I have one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, five unit, six units, one half, and then two halves. So I have six and two halves here. And some of us who know how to reduce fractions know that two halves is one whole. So it would be seven units, which is what it says, six whole squares plus two partial squares that are each one half squares make seven squares in all. So the area is seven square units. So then it says, think about using copies of a row or column to fill up the rectangle. We know this as repeated addition. There are two and one four squares in each row and three rows. So our repeated addition right here, we did two and one fourth plus two and one fourth plus two and one fourth equals six and three four squares in all. We also know that area equals length times width. So we could do for um, the three and two and one fourth units, we could do three times two we know is six, and then do the repeated addition with the fractions. That would come out to be six and three fourths. So down at the bottom it says find find the area of each, each rectangle. Let's do one together and you'll have to do the other one on your own. So I like drawing mine. So I'm going to draw. I have my four units now, one, two, three, four. And then I have my two and then it's one fifth. So I know I have one. So if I zoom in and change the color on my marker, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. I have eight whole plus one, two, three, four fifths. So if I zoom out, my area is eight and four fifth square units. You can do the next one however you wish. You can draw it, you can use the repeated addition, or do the way I sort of showed as an example, the 2 times 3 we know, and then did the repeated addition with the fractions. At the bottom, we have our practice. Now, we need to remember our order of operations. So our order of operations is parentheses, P, exponents, Multiply, divide, add, subtract. PEMDAS. So if we do number three, first I have to see, are there any parentheses? There is. Nine plus two is eleven. No exponents, no multiplication, no division, no addition. But the subtraction is next. So fourteen minus eleven is three. Now let's look at number six. I have parentheses again, so parentheses 8 plus 6 is 14, 14. I don't have any exponents, I'm not multiplying, but I'm dividing, so 14 divided by 2 is 7. I'm not adding, but I am subtracting. Minus 1 is 6. Do 4 and 5 on your own.